Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use according to and in terms of. This is a question that a student had submitted and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between according to and in terms of. Now, these are two very nice expressions. They'll help you sound advanced and fluent in English, but they have completely different meanings, so they're not interchangeable. Let's start with according to. According to is a preposition. To form a complete sentence, we need a noun, according to, and then a noun, so something or someone. What does this mean? It means as stated by, as stated by someone or something. So we use it to let the person know that the information that we're giving you was stated by someone else or even something else. Something else such as a document, a sign, a commercial, anything like that. For example, a company could call me and say, according to our records, you have an outstanding balance with us. So here, this noun, the something is our records. Of course, records, they're just files, pieces of paper in a computer system, right? So they search my name and they see I have an outstanding balance. So the person on the phone is letting me know that it's not me who's saying this, it's the file, it's the record, according to our records. Another example, we could say, according to doctors, we should drink eight glasses of water a day. So let's say I'm talking to a friend and I say, according to doctors, you should drink eight glasses of water a day. Well, my friend will take the advice more seriously because she knows it's not coming from me. What do I know? It's coming from a doctor, which all of a sudden the advice sounds more official. So we use this a lot before we share information just so the other person knows where the information came from. Now let's talk about in terms of. In terms of is a phrase. To complete this phrase, we need one of two things, a noun, or a gerund. A gerund is a verb in ing form. What does this mean? It's used to identify a specific topic or specific area of focus. For example, I could say, in terms of studying abroad, London's a great choice. So now when we're having a conversation, I've given you the topic. So we know we're not talking about just general tourism, general entertainment. We're not talking about food choices or the cost of living. We're talking specifically about studying abroad. In terms of studying abroad, London's a great choice. And notice here, because I used a verb, it's in the gerund form. Now remember, we can use a noun. So I could say, in terms of universities, Oxford is a great choice. So now, we're not talking about anything, we're talking specifically about universities. So this is a really great phrase that you can use before meetings, before you give a presentation, or before you give any information to let the person know what specifically you'll be focusing on in that conversation. So now you have two great expressions in your vocabulary, according to and in terms of. Of course, it's your turn to practice, so I want you to leave two examples in the comments below, one with according to and one with in terms of. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And if you're a busy professional who's serious about improving your English speaking skills so you can take your career and your life to the next level, then I want you to go to my website, j4senglish.com. 
www.feelconfident.com. There, you'll find a free case study where you'll learn how to feel confident speaking English in public so you can impress your boss and clients with your message in only 30 days. To get your free case study, simply click the button, enter your name and email, and you'll get instant access. And until next time, happy studying. According to me, you're the best students I have. And in terms of students, you're the best. There, those are my example sentences and I can't wait to read yours in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.